Hi guys, it's Garrett Stewart with Command Consult and I'm really excited to show you a way to spice up your uh, agent websites. So if you're wanting to add extra pages on your websites, uh, let's just take for example, I have my website right here and you're looking to add some more drop down options uh, up here. Maybe you want to do, let's just say uh, some things to do in the area uh, site and you want to utilize uh, maybe a third-party website to get you that information so let's let, let's show you how you can put this information on your website so uh, essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a website that you want to embed onto your website and what I mean by embedding is your website this website is going to be within my Keller Williams website so just to show you a quick example of what that looks like uh, I'll do uh, the events page right here that I did uh, and so I click on events and just from there it's going to load in and you can see the different uh, I'm here in Reno Lake Tahoe area and so I can show off the uh, events that are happening in the area right here now of course right now maybe not so many events but you can show off the events but notice that the site is within my command uh, agent website uh, so if I want to do this maybe as well for my things to do page for Reno uh, you know that way they can do that um, or just any other third-party website uh, here's a walkthrough of how we're going to do that so we find select which page we want to do first uh, and I will uh, put a little caveat in there that not every website will allow this uh, some do have restrictions on it and of course you always do want to make sure with any copywritten things you don't get in trouble so always double check that just to be safe um, but if you are good to if they allow embedding uh, then uh, go ahead and add this to a feature onto your website so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to command and we're gonna go to consumer and we'll just click right there and from consumer we're gonna go ahead and click create a new page we'll click on my agent site because we're adding this to our website and we'll hit create page now we have these widgets here uh, and so what I suggest doing we're gonna do a text block here that's gonna go at the top and then we'll click back on the widgets and from there we can just throw in we have to have uh, one of these widgets in here so we again we clicked the text from the content block and then we're gonna have to have one widget on here so what do you want on there do you want an agent profile a lot of times I'll just throw the app uh, widget in there at the bottom uh, so that'll just be at the bottom of the page now we're gonna go in here and get to the text so now a quick and easy way we're gonna do a little bit of coding here but don't worry I made it incredibly easy for you to be able to do this coding uh, and what you're going to do is go to my website commandconsult.com uh, there's the website right there and on commandconsult.com you're gonna go over here to more and hit that resources tab and on that resources tab you're gonna see code and sites uh, code for sites and landing pages you'll go ahead and click on that and that's gonna load in right here and so we're gonna be able to highlight that uh, the code right there and we'll just go ahead and copy that code there so now when we go back into command we're gonna paste the code we just copied right here uh, and so you can see there's a spot that we're going to replace where it says your website here so again this is coding made easy for you you're gonna go ahead and highlight that you can just backspace it and we're gonna find that website that we want to do so I have visit renotile.com slash things to do so we'll copy that website and we'll just paste that right in there so there it goes it's pasted in there it's all done now here's the uh, part that we want to just make sure uh, people are a little concerned like it's just showing text this was done differently in the past in command so if you've done uh, any type of embedding before coding in here used to triple click that is not the case anymore um, now once you click off it actually will just load up for you or once you save it and publish it, it'll go as well so notice that once I went to change that name it did load in here um, and so that's all going to be all on my agent site and so as I scroll down now it's all on there so uh, obviously I'm going to name the page right up here uh, so we'll just call this uh, things to do in Reno Tahoe and now we've got that so we are going to hit save changes and we're going to would you like to continue to cite and uh, publish your page now if you depending on which widget you chose 
uh, the app one was already good for me, but if you chose like a different one that you will needed to customize information, you may need to hit that configure widget button and configure that specific widget. Uh, I'm not gonna go through that part because I did the app and uh, it's already pre-configured for me. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit yes. And that's gonna go right over here to agent site pages. And I'm going to add a page. So right there, and I here's the new one that I created. And we'll hit things to do in Reno Tahoe. We'll hit continue. And now we're gonna do new page title. And so we'll just say things to do in Reno Tahoe. And then we'll just say things to do as the URL slug. So basically to get to that page, that's exactly how it's gonna show up. You can't do spaces, you have to have hyphens or just have it all a run in of letters. Um, so. Uh, and then you could do a little SEO description. So if it does pop up in Google search, it, it'll pop up a little bit. So um, here are some, or actually you wanna be the short one, the SEO description. So things to do in Reno Tahoe. Um, and so I normally just keep that pretty vague. I personally, I don't spend too much time stressing about that. So uh, I just do that, we call it good. I hit save. And now that should be popping up on our website. So let's go see, I'll hop over to my website and see if that works. So I'm gonna hit that refresh button and we're gonna go in there now. Once I hit refresh in that drop down, there it is, things to do in Reno Tahoe. So I click on that and sure enough, it takes just a second to load. Um, and you can go right here to uh, edit that. So uh, anyway, Check that out, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any other questions, you can always go to my website, commandconsult.com, watch videos or any other support questions there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.